Hey everybody, so we're at our Airbnb. Um, we're supposed to have it for a month, but there's like, we had like a, another rough day um, because on the Airbnb, the people, they don't give an address. They gave kind of like a faulty address even when we um, messaged them and it makes it seem like it's closer than what it is in Dar es Salaam. It's still in Dar es Salaam, but it's kind of like the next town over what is what our Uber driver explained to us. So it was like 45 minutes from where um, we were. And uh, so we tried to call a heck of times. We were circling and circling, asking people around there like, we don't know where this place is, Pine Lodge. We don't know where that's at. We don't know where that's at. So the, I was, the guy, um, our Uber driver was like, you know, sometimes people have these uh, supposed um, hotels or lodges or whatever and they don't want to pay taxes so they have it under or under someone else's name or whatever and or get someone that's not in the city no molly to post the ad or whatever so that they don't have to pay the city whatever they're supposed to do for like the lodging taxes or fees or whatever but anyway so we don't have wi-fi on our phones I, we have t-mobile that's our service um provider and it like halfway works out here so what we need to do is find a sim card to put in my phone um so that it can work on their network so our uber driver was nice enough to drive us around trying to find the sim card like half the day finally found one um now let me backtrack so we ended up going to stopping at this other hotel to pick up from their wi-fi to call the guy finally got in touch with the person and thank god our uber driver spoke english and he's a local here so he speaks swahili and so <clears throat> the owner's son gave him the address to where we're supposed to be basically we're in the bush which is fine um but they're supposed to have wi-fi they don't have wi-fi and there was like confusion about our room and i'll show you the room in just a second and i'm like no this is the room we're supposed to be in but they have another room which is kind of like a one bedroom apartment with a kitchen that's fine but i like this one because it has like this nice big bathtub the other one i like too but this one has a bigger bed that we can all fit in comfortably and it's the mattress is actually softer the other mattress next door is hard but um and then the people here they're like we didn't know about a booking the people didn't tell us this and this and that i'm like well i already paid for this um room for a month or whatever and this is the room I wanted. This is the one I'm supposed to get. So after all of that running around all day, like <laughs> it's confusion about my room and whatever. And y'all already got my money. And then the owner's son didn't even relay it to the people who actually work here. You know that people were coming. So you kind of have to be relaxed and under and have some understanding because there's a delay in communication from them because they, they're not doing anything online. You know, this is an older couple or whatever and the owner's son, is he's around our age, but he's supposed to be here tomorrow to figure stuff out or whatever. And um, so we got the SIM card for my phone, but it's not working. We tried several times. It cost, um, 3,000 Tanzanian shillings. We went and got a few things from the store. I got some like sp spaghetti. And put that down, Savannah. To just try to make some spaghetti and sauce and some golden grams and like a loaf of bread and some peanut butter and stuff. And um, oh, and a big thing of water, which I'll show in a minute. And that. Cause. Oh, and then we got 
uh, well the stuff from the grocery store was like uh, 53 or something Tanzanian, 53,000 Tanzanian shillings and then I got some fruit from one of the people uh, selling on the side of the road and that was like 10,000 Tanzanian shillings and I got a bunch of bananas it's 14 bananas two oranges two Mommy, um, me oh yeah. Say hi, baby. Hi, me oh yeah. She got like a little fever going on too, but it's not stopping her playing. Molly's all in the drawers over there. Um, what are those things? Like two mangoes hey. and in. Uh, hey. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? Hey. Ah, In in a watermelon. So, Lukey's right there. He's exhausted. The girls were up at the cracker dawn as one again. So, any parents out there who have relocated here, did you guys have a hard time um, getting yourselves and the kids like settled with the time change and all of that stuff? Because we are. Bus to open the markers. Um, so let me show you this room. And it's used a mess, but you see that big old bunch of bananas right there. That's what we got from the store. This is some local uh, peanut butter. I got that. I got some hot sauce because I wanted some hot sauce. I think I talked about it in another video some golden grams we don't have these in the states at least i have never seen them sweet chili pepper um those bananas they're not ripe yet two mangoes A loaf of bread, 3,000 Tanzanian shillings. We also had some samosas today. A veggie one and a chicken one. I got poo poo these little banana snacks. And just, you know, some spaghetti. So I was gonna try to make some spaghetti. Here, and I got a donut. It was all right. Um, let me turn around so you guys can see. So there's the TV and the phone and a nice couch. That's the watermelon. This big, huge California king size bed. A nice, very nice wardrobe. The little mini fridge. And the tub is why I wanted this one. But the other one is actually better because it has a kitchen in a little small little living room so yeah yeah so you guys this is like 10 something at night and i seen this earlier today but i thought it was like something with the plumbing or whatever but it is moving up and it's heck of scary. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Maybe it's a slug. But it's scary. So I was just like, I don't know if it's a snake or or a frog or what. But that thing is scary looking. Um, yeah, but it's coming up. Uh, from behind the tub. 